Welcome to our demo of Wabbit, uh, SQL Power's uh, intuitive business intelligence reporting tool. My name is John Kemp. I am a uh, principal with SQL Power's consulting group, and uh, I'm going to walk you through a little bit about what Wabbit does today. SQL Power uh, developed Wabbit, which is an open source tool. It's free to download and use. Um, really in response to our experiences with our clients. Uh, we were going in and uh, working with existing reporting environments as we were developing data warehousing and uh, business intelligence solutions for them. And we were finding uh, that the products that were in use were becoming extremely complex or had become extremely complex in the years that they'd been out uh, and available. And they were really no longer serving uh, their original intended audience, which is really business users who wanted to be able to query data to address uh, business questions. And out of those experiences, uh, we began to develop Wabbit. And Wabbit, as I mentioned, is, a, is really a BI reporting tool geared towards end users, although we've, we've gotten feedback from the community that a lot of IT folks use it as well because of its ease. Well, what is Wabbit? Well, first off, as I've mentioned, it's an open source uh, BI tool. It's free to download and use. Um, it uses what I like to call a drag and drop interface. Uh, you identify what you want to report on, drag it across and, and work on it. Uh, it runs on pretty much every database out there, in particular products like Oracle, Postgres, MySQL, Sybase, DB2, SQL Server. And what's really cool is we've developed the whole product in Java, which means it's uh, pretty much platform independent. Any uh, environment that you can host a Java application on, you can host Wabbit. So uh, you can run on a Linux platform, uh, Vista, XP, uh, Mac, which is what I'm running on today. It works with all of them. Let's uh, hop in and take a look at the Wabbit product. So I'm right on the initial screen. This is when you uh, have installed the product and you're just running it either for the first time or running it anyhow, anytime. The first screen you get is, is the welcome screen. And what we're going to do is uh, create a new project. Wabbit, uh, the, the download product, comes with a, a demo database that you can play around with to get comfortable with the product and it's called the SQL Power Demo Connection. Within this screen, you can actually add additional database connections. So if there's a, a server, a database server that has the information on it that you need to get to, you can click New here, uh, go through a very simple setup screen, and connect to that database. But we're just going to connect to the demo database. And the demo database that we're connecting to has got mo information about movies and actors. And so we're going to look at building a query and a, a report around. Uh, movies and actors. Before we start, a uh, quick uh, uh, kind of overview of, of the main screen and what it looks like. Uh, on the left side, you'll see that we have our project tree, which is just uh, a way of, uh, of managing all the reports and queries that you generate and, and grouping them by project. It's very similar to the directory structure that you would find in Windows or in Mac. Over to the far right of the screen are my database connections. So in this case, we connected to the SQL Power demo connection. In there, I can see the tables that make up that database. And we'll be dragging these tables across as we want to query against them. In the center of the screen is the query pen, or the query pay play pen is what I like to refer to it. This is where you drag in the, the tables of the data that you want to query against, and you establish the relationships, and you decide what you want to actually query on. And then finally in the bottom of the screen is, uh, right now it's just showing a log of what we've done, but as we generate queries it will give us sample results. So we can see what kind of data is coming back and we can adjust our queries as we see fit. So today I want to generate a little report that just tells me uh, movies and the actors that were in that movie. So to do this, you know, I know I'm going to need this movie table. So I just click on it, drag it across into the playpen, and away we go. And you'll note it, it will immediately um, basically give me all of the entries in this table. And if I look at my result set, I'll just see a bunch of movies listed here, uh, along with all of the various attributes. So the movie ID, the title, the year, country, director, writer, etc. Now what I want to do is I want to look at the actors that were in that movie. So I'm just going to grab the actor table and bring it across. And we'll note a couple of things here. Uh, first off, uh, 
Wabbit, if it, if it knows that there's a relationship between two tables, will establish that. If it can't, which is this case, there's nothing common between the movie table and the actor table. What it does is what's called a Cartesian join. And what a Cartesian join is, is basically for every entry in the movie table, it will join it to every entry in the actor table. So I end up with every actor being related to every movie. So if I scroll across here, you'll note Tim, Tim Robbins oops, uh, is showing up, or in this case I've gone and sorted it, F. Murray Abrams showing up in a lot of movies he wasn't in. So when I look at my data, I have to find something that tells me what uh, actors were in what movies, and that's this cast and crew table. So when I drag that across, uh, you'll note that uh, Wabbit automatically identifies the joins between them. That's these little uh, lines here that join, for example, cast and crew joins to movie on movie ID. And uh, this is a little shrink button. I can uh, increase the amount of space on my playpen. You can see here that actor ID uh, is the common link between cast and crew and actor. So by putting in cast and crew, I've now identified what actors are in which movies. So I've now got basically the query I want to run, but it's not quite there yet. For example, I really don't care about this movie ID because it's an internal identifier. I don't care about the actor ID for the same reason. So I'm going to unclick those and get rid of them. Likewise, I'm not worried about the country, the director, the writer, the plot summary, the rating, the genre, or the box office. So I will get rid of all of those, uh, those attributes or columns of data. And if you'll note my result uh, set, you'll note that as I deselect these attributes, the values return, the, the, the number of columns that get returned shrinks down. And I, you know, I also don't really want the date of birth for these guys, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. So I've now got uh, the values that I'm looking for, uh, the, the field attributes that I'm looking for. There's a couple of things I don't like, though. Now, I really want to sort this by, uh, by uh, movie title. So I can do that very simply by clicking on the title, and it will uh, assort in ascending or descending order. So I can click again, and instead of going A to Z, I go Z to A. But I really want it uh, A to Z, so I'll put that there. I don't, you know, I don't want the, the role played to be way at the end. I'm actually going to move that next to the title. And the year, I'm, I care about the year, but I'm going to put it at the end. So I don't really care too much about it right now. So I've now got uh, uh, you know, the data kind of in the, the, the format I, I want. I've got it ordered the way I want. I've got it sorted the way I want. But I can't really do anything with this. You know, If I want to print this out, it's not going to look terribly attractive. And that's why we go to um, a page layout, basically a report formatter that allows me to graphically uh, display the data. So I just click on this button and we pop over to uh, the report format. 